very uh, pretty amazing tool that we have here. We've developed it over the past few years. So if you use the dies that are CMYK, then you can click on the CMYK there and you can click on the target there. You can match the target color. So in this example, let's say we have this color and uh, your current is actually going to be your bleach spot so in this example we can take a shortcut and click on the plus next to the yellow and let's say we have uh, this much magenta so we can click on the plus next to the magenta let's say our bleach spot is more like this this is what we see a lot in the nylon carpets and so this tells us exactly which color that we need. We need 16 blues, 22 reds, and zero yellow on this case. So if you're doing a one-shot pot, this is actually the color that you would need your one-shot pot to look like. Um, in the case of the dye bold uh, dyes, we, um, the dye bold dyes are actually uh, blue, red, and yellow. And so we have here uh, the BRY. So we have a couple of shortcuts here so for you to use this app we can click the plus sign here show the target area and we click on the target box and let's say that our target our original color of carpet is this brown right here right or let's pick a more common color here which is the br2 and so we can actually go ahead and uh, for the sake of space in the screen we can close and minimize the target area and we can show the current area. The current is actually the bleach spot or the cu current color of the carpet that you need to change to the target. And here we can also use the shortcut. So I click on the box underneath the current and let's say this is a bleach spot that has uh, this color of yellow here. And so I can see that the color that's needed is actually 25 blue and 25 red so um, this is actually the one shot pot that you would need if you're adding all three colors at the same time which in this case you only need two colors um, if you are using adding one color at a time this actually tells you that you would need 25 milliliters of blue 25 milliliters of red of the dye bold concentrated colors right so then you make your blue solution and you would add your blue to the current yellow so you would click the plus sign here next to the blue and that tells you whenever you're adding blue to your yellow spot when the bleach spot gets to this green color you stop adding blue okay so make sure that you add blue to every single yellow fiber otherwise you will get a rainbow effect Okay, so the next uh, step would be to add the red. So how much red do you add? Well, you would take 25 milliliters of red of the concentrated solution and you make an actual solution. Uh, in, so the diluted would be uh, 25 milliliters of red into eight ounces or 16 ounces of water. Okay, and we, I go into more details here in the dibo training. This is just a quick overview. And so I will add my red solution to this green color and once i'm done adding the red then i will have the carpet completely restored which you can see here it matches the target area right and so super super straightforward we also have a built-in uh, color wheel here that's just a quick shortcut so if your bleach spot is orange you know that you have to add a purple to it if you're uh, this col is this colored area is green then you know you need to add a reddish with a little bit of blue there if it's more green then it's more of a red so it's a great tool to have uh, so lots of uh, lots of options here so i will go ahead and give you guys if you're interested to take a peek on how the die bold app works uh, just let me know and i will give you the password so you can uh, take a peek and play around with it and you can see how useful it actually is so amazing tool that um, helps a lot of carpet dyers who have a hard time distinguishing which colors that you actually need to fix a bleach spot all right so let me know if you have any questions let me know if you like this video and i will talk to you later